So one thing that actually motivates me is that the questions the Copyright Office asked and the, the issues that the AI regulators in the EU have been focused on really assume that there are these relatively few large entities that are uh, developing models and that are making um, uh, their generative AI products available in the marketplace. And um, there are a couple of reasons why that is not necessarily the kind of accurate model about what's going on. So um, there are both um, very small nonprofits and big nonprofits and small profit-making institutions um, and rank amateurs out there um, that collect data because uh, the common crawl um, uh, data set, which is um, uh, routinely uh, copied from everything on the internet, um, people can get access to this data. They can make uh, training uh, data sets. They can then build models um, and you know, a regulation that might be sensible in respect of some large entity uh, such as Meta um, or Google um, is something that really a lot of the developers out there just don't know anything about uh, what, the, what the rules are. Um, and we actually want there to be competitive and new entrant um, model developers and training data set um, developers. And a rule that says that you have to keep very, very accurate records um, about what your training data sets are and so forth um, can is just maybe impractical uh, if you actually care about the existence of a large number of people instead of just a few small companies, um, instead of a few big companies being able to participate in the um, uh, foundation model and generative AI space. Uh, another thing that um, I'm aware of, which is that a lot of generative AI systems are being developed in-house. And I don't see why if um, I'm developing a data set for an in-house use that necessarily there's the same public interest in getting access to disclosure of my training data as there would be um, if uh, it was a publicly accessible database. The other thing, uh, a third thing uh, of concern is that some of these generative AI systems are built on open source models and open source models can basically be kind of proliferated all around the internet. Um, and here's the company that might have developed, or here's the research group that might have developed the training data set way back when. And then here are all these other companies and entities and research groups that basically take that training data set and make various uh, models based on it. So, how do these people out here? who are using the data set from over here to know what kind of obligation that they have to, um, uh, to disclose um, their data. Another kind of practical consideration is that um, at least uh, many of the comments that call for disclosure of training data sets um, uh, in response to the Copyright Office Notice of Inquiry they think that actually it's really important that copyright owners be able to identify um, through this disclosure whether their data uh, was their works were used as training data and a lot of the sort of work on provenance of training data sets focuses on on the provenance of a data set not necessarily the provenance of each individual item within the training data set. So, um, uh, and I think there are uh, certainly companies that are 
uh, part of the space that um, uh, EU wants to regulate and that the US will be considering regulating um, the big uh, developers of, uh, of generative AI. Um, they consider that very specific information about the data on which they trained um, is a trade secret. Um, and I think it's important to understand that, you know, here's like the big initial data set that they use to try to like figure out, okay, we're gonna build a foundation model. Then you have to curate that training set um, in order to get rid of stuff that is duplicates or that is inappropriate um, hate speech or otherwise um, information that you don't wanna have in your data set. And so, you know, are you supposed to disclose the, the big initial dating set, data set or the curated data set? And the curation of that data set, I think has more claim to being a trade secret than maybe to the uh, training data set more generally. So those are a series of concerns that, um, that motivate me uh, to have some reservations about uh, training data disclosure requirements.